busy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I changed my light setting so ah! Oh my gosh, it's not gonna stay off, no. It's so hard to balance this tripod because my new phone is like very heavy, so it's difficult to figure out how to film. Anyways, I have some things to show to you guys today. I have a scam that I was involved in that I'm gonna talk about. It also is my... Come on. Cool. Okay, that stays. It also is my second... No! I'm so sorry, you guys. Why is it being like this? There. Is that good? That's good. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys some things. So, first of all, I'm so excited to announce that I have toilet paper! I finally got toilet paper. I have had to use tissues in the bathroom because there's no toilet paper, even on Amazon. So I finally, this is like a lot of toilet paper. Look how much toilet, and then obviously this is the one that I already have been using. So... Yeah, I'm really, really excited about this because it was so hard to find toilet paper during quarantine. So also, do you guys like the light or do you not like the light? I can change the setting, but I think it's pretty cute like that. So, um, hi Keith, how are you? How are you doing? I love you guys. Also, today is the second, anniversa second anniversary of me becoming a Catholic. So that's pretty exciting as well that I've been Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is horrific. Let's go like this. Is this easier? Is that easier? Maybe I can put something here for it to lay on. Sorry guys, this usually doesn't happen that bad. Let me close the window as well. This like freaks me out. I don't want someone to like come in or anything. Okay. How is this? This is bad. There we go. <laughs> I need like a book or something. Let me find a book. Here, I'll use my Bible. Maybe my Bible will save the day. This Bible I really recommend. It's called the Little Rock Catholic Study Bible. So if you're looking to find a Bible, I recommend that. Oh my gosh, this doesn't work either. Oh, there we go. I opened the Bible and that works perfectly. So happy anniversary on the bed. Yes, I always film from my bed. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. When did the live stream start? It just started a few minutes ago. So we haven't even really gotten onto the live stream yet. So that's exciting. So in total, guys, I've seen Lizzie four times today, once being the Instagram live stream, second being the post she posted on Instagram, third, the recent video she just posted, and here now. That's exciting. Thank you for supporting me so much. That's exciting. You look pretty. Looks like I'm early for once. Yay. Um, Cristero? I don't understand what that means. It's also my anniversary as well. It's also my second anniversary. Yay. Yeah, I guess everyone who was confirmed in 2018, it's our anniversary together, so that's pretty exciting. What book did the Bible open to? <laughs> Sirach! Sirach 24. I actually have this annotated. I'll read you a verse that I like from Sirach. Um, then the creator of all gave me his command, and my creator chose the spot for my tent. He said... In Jacob, make your dwelling. In Israel, your inheritance. And then I highlighted, I highlighted this part and wrote Proverbs 8 next to it. Before all ages, from the beginning, he created me. And through all ages, I shall not cease to be. Come to me, all who desire me, and be filled with fruits. Whoever obeys me will not be put to shame. And those who serve me will never go astray. So there's some biblical wisdom from Sirach. Are you reading from the computer? Oh, you just got here. I was reading from my Bible because my camera was like for the first minute of the video. So then I fixed it. 
and I'm like holding it up with part of my Bible. So people were like, which part of your Bible is that? Hey Lizzie, I've been watching your channel for years. So good to talk to you live. I'm from Australia. How's Australia doing? One of my favorite YouTubers is from Australia. Her name is Freely. She's a vegan YouTuber. She lives in the jungle, like literally off grid. I watched a documentary on this of people off grid in Canada, but there's people who like are not connected to the electrical or plumbing or, um, yeah, basically like off grid in a physical sense, but also like in the jungle by themselves. So congratulations and happy birthday, Lizzie. I just found out yesterday about the 23 Eastern Catholic churches who are in full communion with Rome. We are so diverse, yet we are one Catholic. I agree. You were always a source of spiritual inspiration since I was 18 and now I'm 20. Oh, I know people like that. You look beautiful today. Thank you. Believe it or not, I sleep in my makeup almost every night whenever I do makeup. So this is like my secret that I encourage you guys all to do. So I wear fake lashes and I know half of the people watching and even more don't care about this, but I wear fake lashes. If you are on camera all the time, you probably would too. So I wear them and they like stay pretty glued on and you could obviously take them off, but it takes a while. They have to like absorb makeup remover and stuff. So you don't like rip your eyelashes off. So I just leave them on for several days and oops. <laughs> I was putting my eyebrow on and I clearly missed. <laughs> So I guess I look pretty, but when did Lizzie go away from the Catholic Church? I didn't grow up Catholic. I converted in two years ago. Lizzie, you keep spelling beep wrong. No, do you get it? I'm putting together two words. I'm putting together the name of the virus with the word that you just said. I'm not going to say it because I'll get demonetized. The reason I do that, I put the name of the virus and then the end of that word because if I just put the word you just posted my video will get demonetized so I created this term as kind of a joke with my friends because I thought it was funny and I've just been doing it for my videos so you guys get what I mean it's like I intentionally have it like that um I imagined ripping my eyelashes off and did not like it so thank you Lizzie <laughs> thank you for joining my patreon by the way Hi, Lizzie. Happy Catholic birthday. You're such an inspiration for me. It seems like you lost a lot of weight. Everyone thinks that I lose weight and I don't understand it because on my videos, no one comments anything. But um, yeah, this is my regular bot. Oh, oops, guy. <laughs> There's like a hole in this. That's so funny. Okay. Anyways, I eat a lot of food. I probably eat like 3,000 calories a day, maybe less than that now. I used to eat like 3,000 calories a day for a long time. So I have a really, really high metabolism. I work out every day. I'm very small boned. Like if you look at my arms, I'm just like boned small. That's just how I'm built. So I eat a lot of food. I love cooking. Lately, I've been eating vegan bacon. There's this company, it's called, um, benevolent bacon that's literally what it's called benevolent bacon isn't that so funny you never lost weight because you've never had any to lose um yeah i've never been overweight before because i've worked out my entire life and a lot of people growing up were like how do you maintain such a good weight like how is your body like that and obviously there is some amount of genetics but i also work really hard on my body like i've worked out my entire life i started dance when i was six and then I did that up until high school. I did cross country and track since I was 11 up until I was 18. And I continue to work out every day. I go to the gym. I do a lot of running and cardio and resistance training. So yeah, if you like want, and I eat really, really, really healthy as well. Like I've always eaten very healthy, like whole grains, not as much meat. Um, like growing up, we would do like every other day, no meat. So, and now I'm vegan, so yeah, I don't, I, it really annoyed me growing up when everyone was like, oh, you're so lucky, you have such a good body, and it's like, I work so hard for this body, so yeah, but that's why it's, it's never been hard for me to not be overweight, because I've been very active, so I wish I had higher metabolism. I actually hate having a high metabolism, 
because I have to eat so much food. And when you're very active, you have to eat even more calories. So I just like, in like eating and eating and eating, like my metabolism went down when I turned 24. I noticed like in the fall, not this past fall, but the year before, I noticed I was just like not as hungry as I used to be. So I started eating less and I didn't lose weight. So my metabolism like dipped down, which happens to everyone in their mid 20s. So I was actually so freaking happy because growing up, like in college and beyond, I would make a blender of smoothie this big and drink the entire smoothie, like a blender of smoothie. I would drink like four cups of smoothie for breakfast and that would like fill me up and I'd be eating like two dinners and all these things. So yeah, I hate having high metabolism. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can eat so much more food, but yeah. Um, Feliz Aniversario, Lizzie, Dios te bendiga. Da, 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 da. I can't read that, I don't speak Spanish. What made you start your YouTube channel? So I did film in high school and it was summer break and I was really bored and I'd been watching different YouTubers. So I was like, I should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> so I did. Um, I have another channel that um, is actually taken down. It's not up anymore because of copyright issues. So I did music videos for a while. I had that channel up for several years. So I like did lip sync music videos to different songs, which was like a big deal back in the day on YouTube, back in like 2008, 2009. That was what everyone was doing on YouTube. So I had like a music video channel and then I had an advice channel, which was Lizzie's Answers. And I continued with Lizzie's Answers because it was monetized. So it was like a job for me while I was in high school. And I had several videos go viral, so I just continued on Lizzie's answers. So Lizzie can sing. Lizzie can sing a little bit. OML, the lip sync days. Yeah, do you guys know what I mean? What would you recommend to people who want to start a YouTube channel? So I have a whole video on how to start a YouTube channel. So just look up on YouTube Lizzie's answers, how to start a YouTube channel, and my video will come up. Why is that annoying when you want me to talk about something and I'm just like go watch this video because like I do that all the time when people message me I'm like just go watch these four videos because it's like that's why I started my channel as well because like that's how I started to make videos because people would send me questions and wanting advice on relationships and God and food and you know every type of advice ever people would send me questions and so then I would make videos about them. So that's how like all of my like first few years of YouTube, all my videos were just based upon video requests. So instead of like messaging back someone five paragraphs, I would instead just message them back the video link. So um, I've been feeling really sad today. That's so sad. I hope I can make you feel a little bit happier without invalidating your emotions. Jesus is the best YouTuber. Who, you know who's the best YouTuber? Bishop Barron. Bishop Barron started in like 2008. He's been there like as long, as long as I have. It's crazy. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So in 10 years, I will be 35 years old. I will probably have three kids. 35? Yeah, definitely at least three kids. Although I only want four kids total. Obviously it's whatever God blesses us with, but um, I feel like I'm not getting anything done. So much, so many interruptions. Um, I was so tired today, me too. I stayed up last night late. It doesn't help that I'm a night owl, me too. Girl, I'm so sad too, we wish we could go to mass. Why would YouTube demonetize a real disease that's real? You're not allowed, this is a thing, you're not allowed to talk about tragic events on YouTube, including news stories. So a lot of things get demonetized. So I knew that going into this um, situation. Thank you for the donation, Tommy. Catholic view of international marriage. So one of my favorite YouTubers, Emily Wilson, her husband is from Europe, I think from the Netherlands maybe I'm totally off on that some country I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments so they did an international marriage I don't know if it was I think it was in California but obviously he's from a different country they're teaching their baby Dutch so um yeah Netherlands Dutch is the same country so so apparently only news sources are allowed to report things doesn't seem fair yeah, the problem is if something is like a really big company, like if you're CNN or Fox News and you're uploading YouTube videos, 
you have contacts higher up on YouTube and so they're allowed to upload videos that always get monetized even if they're about the same topics. It's pretty messed up to be honest. So I guess because they're, I don't know, it's unfair. It's just objectively really, really unfair. So I knew coming into this that I had to find a way around it because obviously you're going to talk about it. So that's why I created my word so that I don't get demonetized. All my videos have been monetized with Corona Teen on them. I don't understand why you can't talk about tragic events. What's the point of YouTube then? You can, it just gets demonetized. <laughs> I mean, my, I feel like they're very liberal with the policy though, because I talk about mental illness in all of my videos, a lot of them, and they're up and they're monetized. So the only video of my mental illness that's demonetized is one in which I talked about um, D-E-A-T-H s-u-i-c-i-d-a-l things when i talked about those topics and i literally have to say it like that because if you say the word in the video it gets flagged so a lot of youtubers i was recently watching a youtuber and it was so funny she kept bleeping out like all of these words like i think she said um like h-u-r-r-i-c-a-n-e she said that word and she was like beep and you knew what she said so like literally weather words can get you demonetized so you have to be really really careful it's ridiculous it's like comical how much people bleep themselves out but i obviously can't because this is live lizzie i watch one of your videos how to tell if a girl likes you a long time ago when i was in elementary school and then i started watching your religious videos years later it's surreal yeah so i was just talking about how i started my channel so how to tell if a girl likes you has 5 million views so my videos went actual viral and then i got a lot of subscribers so and then i've been like up and down with my youtube channel through the years just because when i was in college i couldn't upload constantly so that's why my view proportion is like way lower than my subscriber because i was going really really hard i mean even from the beginning i wasn't consistent with uploading and if you're not consistent with uploading because i was doing school full time then you lose then youtube never shows your videos to your subscribers basically so yep it's crazy how a lot of you grew up on here with Lizzie. Yeah, it is crazy. So, um, I'm not Lizzie, obviously, but at age 59, I recommend kettlebells, but actually low impact if done right. So I have been using resistance bands lately with YouTube workouts and I've been doing really, really well. So I've been doing glutes a lot and abs is my main focus lately. So any advice to a former church of christ whose confirmation is delayed thanks to quarantine i feel like i'm being robbed of the easter vigil confirmation that's heartbreaking because you're gonna get confirmed when this all ends but it's not gonna be during the easter mass so i think they will make it really really special though because i went to a confirmation last november and it was really 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 special and yeah it was beautiful and I cried because it was so beautiful and my friend was getting confirmed. So it's a full mass and they still do the candles that come in and they have incense and so they make it really special and so it'll be still a really long mass and a full mass and it'll be a beautiful moment even though it's not an Easter vigil. So I know that that's heartbreaking and there's so many things that are heartbreaking about it and I think a lot of people even with this have said oh like you're not d-y-i-n-g like you're fine don't complain about events getting canceled it could be so much worse for you but no like i think we should validate everyone's emotions here a lot of people are missing out like different really important parts of their lives that they were looking forward to so i think that's totally valid to be upset by that i was supposed to be confirmed as well yeah and none of us can receive the eucharist so I remember watching your channel when you were going to choose to be Catholic or Orthodox, and I said I will convert to Orthodox if she does, but then you became Catholic! Woo! -woo. Really? You were gonna become Orthodox because you thought that I would disprove something? Oh my gosh, guys, so my video just um, premiered, my video on purgatory, and that didn't get demonetized! I thought when I uploaded that video that the word purgatory would be demonetized, so I was like prepared to re-upload the video, with a different title and then only have purgatory in the thumbnail, which works and beats the system. So I was surprised that it's, I guess it's too technical. They haven't thought it through because if the word H-E-L-L -L gets demonetized, then 
I mean, the word A-T-H-E-I-S-T -E gets demonetized, which is crazy that that's like inappropriate, that belief system. So um, yeah, but I got distracted. So in that video, in the video that just uploaded an hour ago, I was debating with Orthodox people in the whole video. Usually it's Protestants I'm debating, but oh my gosh, there's this Protestant who the video before had been like, there are no Bible verses about purgatory. Give me proofs about purgatory. I want to understand purgatory. And I'm not kidding. He joined the video and then dipped out as we were talking to him right before the Bible verses started. With, I was like, Bible verses about to start in 20 seconds. And then he dipped out. So I was like, okay, you're not, you're not interested in a legit intellectual conversation. So... LOL, my phone just notified me that you were live, either, even though I'm already here, Lizzie. And guys, let's get this to 100 likes for Lizzie because she's not only a wonderful friend, but a lovely soul as well. Oh, um, is there anything we can pray for you for? You're always taking our requests and I wanted to return the favor. Oh, can you pray for my family to become Catholic? That would make me so happy. Happy birthday. Thank you. I hope to join the Catholic family soon. Yay, join RCIA. So I donated to Word on Fire and now they email me twice a day. It's so annoying. I like regret donating to them. Like, I don't understand how they thought that would be a positive thing. Like this person gives us a gift. Let's like bombard them with emails they don't want. Like I'm a notification squad for the YouTube channel. So I don't know what else I need to know about. It seems all confirmations in America are postponed until Pentecost. Wow. How do you like a live video? Um, I don't, it's there. It, look here. If you're watching on your computer, it should be here. If you're watching on your phone, it should be, I'm pretty sure. Um, you're doing great, Lizzie. Keep preaching it, a different YouTube channel. Leave the live chat and click on thumbs up, which is like, this thing is going to last until the end of April. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I actually like was going to make plans over the summer for me and Trevor to go to Florida and hang out with my parents. And we're not even planning that. Like we're not going to book flights for even like July because I think things could still be shut down then. So it's crazy. Like you don't really know. It's super up in the air, like the entire future. Like one of my boyfriends, um, Friends are supposed to get married in a month and that's not gonna happen. I mean, hopefully it happens, but you know, things like weddings even are getting canceled. It's crazy. I'm just making the lighting more even. Either my eyebrows are uneven or the lighting. Oh, it's the lighting that's uneven, wow. In my bathroom, there's like two lights and one of them burnt out. So it was like perfect makeup lighting and now there's only one. So it had like a shadow. So I couldn't tell if I was doing my makeup even or not. But apparently it was. So um, I just bought Letter to a Suffering Church by Bishop Barron because I want to learn more about the crisis. That's so good because I get asked about it all the time. I think all Catholics do. So um, here's an Instagram message I just got. Hey, I left the Catholic Church years ago. I know why you joined, but you didn't research carefully. <laughs> um, Orthodox Catholic program. Yay. My Orthodox parish just streamed Sunday's liturgy. It was the first time my dad and I participated in liturgy since my grandfather died. It was emotional for us or at all or bronzer or contour or highlight. It's like my, just my face. So I trust you guys a lot. This is like a big deal. Um, I'm good, but no church. Yeah, monastery is closed. Have you thought of having a debate or discussion with Jacqueline Glenn? since she hasn't replied to your atheist cringe video, she's not gonna reply to it. She's not interested in serious intellectual, intellectual engagement. She also made a video going after this Christian YouTuber that I thought was really, really uncalled for. And that made me lose basically all my respect for her. So I'm not interested in collaborating with her. I mean, I would be if she was wanting to do an intellectually engaging debate, but I don't think she doesn't. <laughs> Clearly she doesn't. So. Which is fine. Like, I think that's why she's atheist. Because she hasn't, like, intellectually looked into arguments for the existence of God or Christianity. Like, if she intellectually engaged, then she'd be Catholic, right? So, um, I'm so sad the church is closed for Easter. Yeah. 
it's really heartbreaking because you're a new Catholic as well. So it's so new to us. I'm going to put copyright strikes on all your videos for no reason. Stop! That's so freaking mean. If anyone turns me in, I'm sorry. What did I ever do? Um, have you seen the film Stigmata? No. How can I watch it? I love Stigmata. I wouldn't mind an engaging conversation debate with her. She seems so cool. Yeah, she does until she went after another YouTuber. That bothers me. I, it's like you love someone and then they do something and it changes the way you view them. Would you like to be a nun? That was my April Fool's Day prank last year. So stay tuned tomorrow for an announcement. You didn't do anything. I just like screwing over people for no reason. <laughs> um... What is the Bible? What? At what age did you desire to learn about the faith? Um, since elementary school, I've done a lot of reading and research and like studying the Bible and praying and everything. So what are your thoughts on Caitlin Bennett? I don't know who that is. I've never heard of her. I'm so glad I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I hate that holiday. <laughs> um, totally agree on your point. I was a hardcore atheist and reverted back to Catholicism after reading St. Teresa of Avila and St. Augustine. Tomorrow announcement is Lizzie's becoming a nun. Ah, we'll see. I have a huge announcement that is so important for November and what's going to happen politically. So I feel like I should use my voice to make a really big statement of my beliefs, my changing beliefs. So big announcement. What are your thoughts on Paul Joseph Watson or Alex Jones? I enjoy Paul Watson's videos if it's who I'm thinking of. Alex Jones is very controversial. I'm not sure all of who he is. So tell an April Fool's joke. I want to read the Bible cover to cover one day from Genesis to Revelation. Do it. I did it when I was in like middle school or high school. It was fun. Um, what do you think of the LDS church? I think they are deluded and... Joseph Smith was bipolar. He had bipolar disorder. Just if you read his diaries, he was manic. He went through depression episodes that he talked about. So I believe that his whole experience with the angel and writing out the Book of Mormon was a manic episode and a psychotic hallucination. He was bipolar. And I feel very comfortable saying that. I've read scholars talking about it, people who are like psychologizing him. It's sketchy to try to diagnose people from like years and years ago, but since he was pretty recent, you can like literally read his journal entries and he's like, I feel so inspired and have so much exhilaration lately. I feel like so on top of the world. Da, 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 da. Like that's not direct quotes from it. I forget, but I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, same. I've been like that. So. For what it's worth, Jacqueline did not say anything crazy about Paul. She brought attention to her career. Yeah, but literally Morgan said in a live stream that her label cut her out of the label deal. They like dropped her once she got engaged. So the deal dropped her. She did not leave music. So that's why you shouldn't make speculations on people without asking and without finding truth. Lizzie, you look good in that shirt. Thank you. I love it so much. Um, Lizzie, read the DMs I sent you. Okay. Here is my Catholic channel. Same views about Jehovah's Witness. Please pray. I think they are not the, um, fullness of the faith. I think Catholicism is. Please pray for the conversion of my mom, who's Jehovah's Witness. They're practically Aryan. I used to be an Aryan. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I was trying to screenshot that. And then do you think Mohammed was manic? I, I think that's too far um, away to tell. Like, it's really sketchy to try to diagnose people with mental illness who like lived a long time ago. Like, I have an inside joke. And I'll make a video about this. My boyfriend was actually telling me today I should make a video about this. But um, like theories of religious people who have mental illness, like I'm pretty sure Origin, this early Christian had bipolar disorder. Just because he cut off his D-I-C-K, literally, um, there's a story about that. Because he wanted to be a, um, what is the word? Eunuch. So Jesus talks about how people have made themselves eunuchs. So he took that, like, literally. 
So I think Origen was bipolar, just a lot of details from his life. And I think that King Saul in the Old Testament was bipolar. Just because, okay, I need to make this video, I guess, because there's so many people just left the live stream when I started talking about this. Okay, so King Saul had bipolar disorder because there's a part of the Bible where he just like strips naked. And also he got like lost in the forest for days at a time. He was just like going around on his horse, like running around and running around and getting lost. And then he had depression, which is why he talked about having like a demon in him which he clearly had depression if you study it and understand depression today. So anyways, I think King Saul had bipolar, especially because he was like going after, I'm not saying that mental illness causes this, but some people with mental illness take it too far. And he was like murderously trying to kill David. So he had like depression and then he had like bipolar rage and then he like had hypersexuality and then he like went off and got lost. He just had, if you read the books of first and second King, First and second Samuel? First and second Samuel? It's it's obvious, so. But it's not obvious. That's the thing. Like when I make this video, I'm gonna say, like, these are my personal opinions. I'm not saying 100 percent This is just interesting. It's cool taking modern psychology and looking back. So yeah. Um I know if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, but okay, too much info. <laughs> Lizzie, I really want to get into shape how to not give up on my fitness journey. So DM me on Twitter or Instagram and I will send you my favorite workout videos. Lizzie, you're looking beautiful tonight. Thank you. I don't know if Mohammed was bipolar because we can't diagnose people, but he did think the angel was a demon at first and tried to kill himself three times. Maybe. Um... Do you think jokes at LDS like the show? Lizzie, thank you for the video about purgatory. You're welcome. Um, I've been binging your videos for the past few weeks. It's made me think, rethink Christianity, and now I'm seriously considering becoming Catholic. Yay, I'm so happy for you. Have you read any books written by Scott Hunt? Yes, I've read Rome Sweet Home and The Lamb's Supper and Angels and Saints. What is your favorite part about being Catholic? Um, I think my favorite part, a lot of people are like, the Eucharist, the Eucharist. My favorite part of being Catholic, because I didn't have the Eucharist for a year, and obviously right now I don't have the Eucharist, and I'm still Catholic. So my favorite part is the fellowship of the saints, which means getting to... So there's people in heaven right now who already lived on earth, Christians who have died, who are still alive around God's throne, their souls are there. So that's my favorite part where you can ask people in heaven to like help you out and mentor you and pray for you. So I love reading church history. Like I read stuff from the early church and when I'm reading it, I can ask that person in heaven to pray for me. So to understand it more. So I think that's really cool. Like I love the idea that people in heaven are praying for us and we're connected to dead Christians, even people in purgatory, the video I just made, we're connected to those people and can pray for them and be part of each other's salvation. So I really like the concept of church history and 2000 years of saints. And it's honestly amazing the time we're living in because people in the early church, they had like, the Bible and they had some of the oral tradition, but now we have like so much philosophy and theology and people really intensely thinking about the faith. So I really, really like that. Can Jesus cure my autism? No, Jesus can do anything. Yes, God can do miracles, but it is rarely, rarely happens. And so we shouldn't have the idea that you can pray away your autism or pray away your bipolar or pray away your cancer like yes you can pray for things but trust medical professionals as well who is your favorite woman saint to read saint Teresa of avila i read her book and i really really loved it i honestly don't read that many women saints just because i've I read more of stuff from the earlier church and there's less women. There are like the church fathers. I mean, yes, there are some women. Like there's an account called The Martyrdom of Perpetua and Felicity written by a woman, but there's not that much, honestly. Um, autism doesn't need to be cured. That's a really good thing to say as well. They're full people, full, capable, productive, loving people. Have you heard about... And also people with autism, 
have more um, creativity and are more intelligent in certain ways than people who don't have autism. There is this priest on Twitter who has autism, who um, he has a whole Twitter account called Autistic Priest. Go follow Autistic Priest and he posts articles and stuff. And he says that in work environments, it's always better to have someone with autism because they have more of like a hyper sensitive view of the world, like on an intellectual level as well. And so it's better in like creative team planning situations to have someone with autism. So yeah, it's not like, it's kind of like, with bipolar disorder as well, where mania cre is so much creativity and also you're more hypersensitive about things. So yeah, I think we shouldn't see it as like so negative necessarily, so. Do you have any thoughts on the LDS church or nothing in particular? I already discussed it before how he had bipolar disorder and it's not the fullness of the faith and they added a lot of things on the faith as well, so. Yeah, I don't know why I get that question literally all the time. Like, I don't have that many thoughts on it. It's like, what do you think of Lutherans? What do you think of Pentecostal? What do you think of Baptist? What do you think of Presbyterian? What do you think of Episcopal? What do you think of Mormon? It's like, there are Protestant churches that don't have the fullness of the faith. Like, I don't know. I don't have all these like developing thoughts about it. Why is my eye about to water? Maybe my contact is in wrong. Do you see that? Um, I'm a Lutheran fan of yours. Oh my gosh. What's your thoughts on us Lutherans? We tend to be closer to Catholics than Protestants. Why did that message get deleted? Um, do you speak Spanish? No, I speak a little bit of Spanish. I took three years of Spanish. When I was in Mexico last year, I was able to speak some Spanish, but, um, so un poco, muy malo. I'm horrible. Um, allergies? I don't have allergies. Maybe it's something in the air. <laughs> American Episcopalians make my eyes hurt. Um, let's remove. I almost became Lutheran before Catholic. Really? That's so interesting. Lizzie, I just joined. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. My eye is watering. I just was talking about it. You joined right after I talked about my eye watering. I don't understand. Wait a second. A really good tool for your eye is you can erase the memory of your eye. So take your eyelash and pull it over your eye like that and keep it like that and then blink and then it will have dislodged something in your eye. Usually that helps, so. I'm crying, I'm half crying. Alexander is asking about Buddha again. <laughs> Some things never change. Lizzie, have you seen the YouTube channel 10 Minute Bible Hour? <gasps> is that the really Protestant one who goes after Catholics? Oh my gosh, guys, someone made a hate video about me and it was so boring. Like they didn't say anything in the video. I was like so excited. Um, I sent it to Trevor too. And we were like wanting it to be like going after me and tearing me apart and like character attacks, but it really wasn't that great. So if you're gonna make a hate video about me, you need to like dig in and be vile. This is interesting. I'm not Catholic. I've never heard of purgatory written in the Bible. Go watch my last video. There are several Bible verses directly speaking about purgatory in scripture, like directly. So go watch my video. There are like, well, there's like over 12, but in the video I mentioned, I think like 15. So yeah, a lot of stuff in the Old Testament, especially. Have you seen the Book of Mormon? I've listened to the soundtrack, but I've seen, yeah, I've seen on YouTube, not like the um, Broadway or off Broadway, but I've seen on YouTube people who posted it. So it's really, really good. Favorite worship songs? Um, on the spot, it's hard to think of them, but I like, Okay, it's about how those who eat me will be resurrected. <laughs> it's like a bread of life discourse, John Six song. 
And it's like, those who feed on me, I will bring to... I can't sing it, I forgot. So, can you drink holy water? No, that's sacrilegious. Um, Lizzie, no, 10 Minute Bible Hours is a Protestant YouTube channel, but he's been exploring different Christian denomination. He sits down and just has dialogues. He did one on Catholicism. Is he the one who did it with Matt Frad? Favorite song from the Book of Mormon? Ooh, I don't want to go after them. Um, obviously, I believe, I believe that God has a plan for all of us. I believe that that plan involves me getting my own planet. And I believe that ancient Jews built boats and sailed to America. I am the Mormon. Mormon and watching this I love you guys a lot I think it's all in good fun I have Mormon friends who found it hilarious as well so um Jeremiah said if I ever make a hate video of you I promise I will say the worst things I can think of I'll pound my fists I'll say you're immodest I'll say you're a pretentious scholar it's gonna be great oh my gosh definitely make me a hate video I'll make a reaction video to it so um what was I gonna say yeah, I always make reactions when people do hate things about me. I did one when I first became Catholic, someone wrote, wrote a hate essay against me. And then I did a video reacting to um, some Twitter comments. So, um, what was I gonna say? What were you talking about? Oh, we're talking about hate videos. Um, is your husband becoming a deacon after you guys marry? Yes, he wants to. So, I don't even understand what deacons are in Catholicism. I don't understand their role, okay? No, he didn't do one with Matt Frad. Okay, I, there's another YouTube channel. It's a video that keeps getting recommended to me that I haven't watched. He actually met a Catholic priest. The priest was showing him around the church and explained her faith beautifully. That's really cool. Lizzie, did you ever watch the documentary about Sister Claire? What? I don't remember this. I screenshotted it. Not that I look at all my screenshots, but... I see a lot of trad cats go after you a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. Tomorrow, my announcement on Twitter will be very intense. Um, Lizzie, can you read and explain numbers 3, 17 through 18? Um, can someone um, can someone Google numbers 31? I don't want to look it up on here because my phone will fall over if I look at my Bible right now. Have you ever seen a flying nun? Is that type of bird? Is that, have you watched the Catholic talk show on YouTube? No, less than a mile. You can use blessed salt in cooking. Who introduced you to the Catholic faith? I introduced myself to the Catholic faith, but definitely my YouTube audience, because when I started making videos like hating Catholicism, people started trying to convert me and like sending me videos and stuff. So the church fathers introduced me to Catholicism. So flying, that is a movie. You're married, grats. No, they said future husband. What do you think about the apparitions of Mary? So she always tells us to pray the rosary in the Marian apparition. So I think it's really important to pray the rosary. So I've researched so much into Fatima, Lourdes. My favorite Marian apparition was in Ireland. And there was like an altar, like a Eucharist altar. And Mary was there with the Apostle John and I think some angels. And it was like pouring down rain. And everyone was like kneeling in front of them and like praying the rosary with them. But it was completely dry under where the Apostle John and Mary were. It was like dry, but it was like pouring down rain everywhere else. Oh, it's so cool. Um, what's the one in Ireland? I don't know. Our Lady of Knock. Okay, cool. What did your family think of you converting to being Catholic? They said it was akin to me being about to die in the hospital. Like if I was in the ICU. You didn't answer my question. Can you send it again? There's like, I'm on my phone. So if you're on your computer, it might be like you can see more messages. But on my phone, it's like, do, 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 do. So I literally don't see all the messages because it's like, Are
are you friends with Paul and Morgan? No, I have messaged Morgan. I love their videos. So I've talked to her on Instagram because I made a video responding to one of her videos on birth control. So I like encouraged her and I was like, it's so amazing that you've come to this theology. I think it's beautiful. I really like your channel. So, um, but no, we're not friends. I've just messaged. Thanks. My doctors are trying to decide if I'm either schizoaffective or bipolar. So you've been an inspiration for talking about your own mental health. Thanks. Oh, can you speak Spanish? No. How many crucifixes do you have in your room? One, two, three, four, five, and on rosaries as well. So yeah, there's a lot. And then I have like some little ones. Um, you have done a lot in just a span of two years. You amaze me. You've inspired me a lot. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you. Guys, thumbs up the video. There are over 100 people here right now, so there should be at least 100 thumbs up right now. Oh, well, I hope you guys become friends in the future. Are you friends with Girl Find? No, we have never messaged each other or anything, so I should message them. I made a video kind of um, against their theology a couple years ago. So if they saw it, they might've been like, oh my gosh, she hates us, but I obviously don't. So I actually comment on their videos and I go after people who hate them in the comments. I like go after the people and message them. So um, I find that trads are very skeptical about the divine mercy Jesus. So this is the Our Lady of Faust. No, not Our Lady. Faustina, St. Faustina and her um, painting thing. The original Divine Mercy Jesus didn't have stigmata, for example. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know why people are skeptical about it, but um, interesting. Have you studied Lutheran theology? After finding you, I found that we have a lot in common with Roman Catholics. I haven't studied it that in depth, but yeah, like Eucharistic theology is more similar. So obviously like what happened with Protestantism it was like a snowball going down and he was like a little bit different and then it was like phew, and like it became like completely different and stripped away all of the theology so um trads are modern Pharisees <laughs> yeah that's a good way to describe it um you Paul and Morgan and girl to find are good god-fearing people you guys would make excellent friends oh trad casts are cool although sometimes annoying they vibe though have you ever watched the Buddhist YouTuber Jonathan Hills? I think it's because people think it's as a replacement to the rosary. Interesting. Girl Defined is a cringy sometimes. I disagree with some of the things they say for sure. Um, Lutherans have a lot of similarities to Catholics. Catholics aren't obliged to believe in divine mercy because it's a private revelation. Yeah. So um, do you think the Buddha was manic? Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's too long ago to make psychological assessments. Anything in history is actually too long ago to make a psychological assessment, but like you shouldn't. The only reason I do about Joseph Smith is because of his diary. And oh my gosh, he had hyper S-E-X-U-A-L-I-T-Y because he had like 22 wives, which is bizarre. So that was totally a manic symptom as well. Have you heard of Joseph Solomon or Jefferson Betke? Yes, I've heard of Jefferson Betke. I don't really know who that is, but it sounds really Hyper what? S E X U A L I T Y. I can't say that word. What do you think of the transformed wife? I've never watched her videos. Um, 40 wives, yeah. We're Jesus and Trad cats are skeptical about the divine mercy image because it lacks the fine five wombs, the sacred heart, the blessing hand of Jesus we're back um has trevor ever wanted to do a youtube video yes he's been on my channel three different times so he's been on my channel three times so he wants to be my youtube videos we don't do that many videos mostly because we are long distance so we couldn't do videos together but yeah he likes being on my channel the video was paused because of the wi-fi the wi-fi just went out because of corona everyone's inside not able to go outside so everyone's on the wi-fi so like worldwide the wi-fi is bad so 
Have you heard of any Christian rappers like Lecrae? Yes, I've heard of Catholic rappers. Did you know there are Catholic rappers? What is your favorite novel? A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hussini. Are you a trad calf? Because I see a lot of them attacking you. They hate me. Um, Taylor Marshall is for sure a trad. Taylor Marshall likes me. I hope so. I love him. I was on his channel. Um, Thomas, don't sin. We're a crucifix. Taylor Marshall is a trad, but he's not a... Yeah, you're right. He's not schismatic in any way. Didn't St. Faustina never like any of the Divine Mercy images? ...a way to try to help the situation, so we'll see. Um, when does drinking become sinful? When you get drunk and when you stop being in control of your thoughts. Lizzie, time favorite Catholic YouTuber. Oh, that makes me so happy. Happy two year anniversary. My one year as a Catholic is coming up in a few weeks. Aww. It's crazy how the calendar shifts so much every year with when Easter is and when Lent starts and everything. I find that really interesting. Should I rule out priesthood or religious life? I am either bipolar or autistic. My doctors are. Union for two months. So yeah, I'm really, really upset and it's crazy. I keep saying it because there are some different we worship. You got cut off again. I know it keeps cutting off and people keep leaving. I'm sorry, you guys. Thumbs up the video. Let's get to a hundred thumbs up. Wi-Fi wilding. Do you think the Buddha would have converted? I think so. He was very wise. I think so too. Where did you get the icon of the Virgin Mary? Um, from St. Mary's bookstore in Nashville. Thumbs up. <laughs> Guys, we're about to get 100 thumbs up. Thank you so much. The devil is interfering with the Wi-Fi. Yes, it's definitely satanic that everyone's on the Wi-Fi because of Corona teaming. Will I ever be happy? Yes, I went through phases of my life where I cried sobbing every single night, crying myself to sleep and then I went on my bipolar medication and I'm at a point now where I'm happy, like genuinely happy all the time and so free and joyful. And so it gets better. It may take years of your life for, for big parts of your life to change, to find people who you like genuinely are friends with and connect with on such a deep level, but it will get better. It does get better. Is your parish live streaming? Yes. Do you believe... Um, that the disease is God's wrath, like people are saying, obviously not. It's obviously not his wrath. I have to leave now because I'm joining a phone call with Young Adult Ministry. See you guys. Bye. Have fun on your phone call. Can you please turn the crosses behind you upside down? No. Also, I love how blank is Italian for 40 days. Wow. Do you also know that St. Corona is the saint of infectious diseases? How are you doing in Corona teen since they have us here until May? So I'm doing good just because I usually spend a lot of time at home working by myself. So I'm definitely like somewhat of an introvert. So it doesn't bother me. I, I haven't really been going stir crazy. If I do feel stir crazy, then I'll go for a walk. But um, yeah, so I've actually been fine. So yeah, it's literally like repeating scripture. And then people are like, yeah, but you say pray for us. Yeah, we say pray for us to also Joseph Ignatius Irenaeus, Justin Martyr, Perpetua, like literally everyone prays for us in heaven. So it's not weird that Mary's also praying for us. 
I was talking to my mom about that over Christmas break. She was, and I was, she was like, I just don't like emphasis put on it. And I was like, we also venerate your respect. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah, we venerate everyone. And she's like, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Can you pray for me that I do well in a job interview? I made it to the second round of the interview. Yay, congratulations. That's so exciting. I was trying to screenshot this comment and it accidentally shut my phone. Where is it? Here we go. Can you pray for my job interview? Cool. I don't know why people comment such disrespectful things. Uh, interesting. Lizzie's answers. Do you believe in, do you have a devotion to St. Joseph? Um, no. If I'm praying for someone's dad. The Wi-Fi isn't working. Let me go out here to see if the Wi-Fi will work so I can say goodbye to you guys. Okay, I might just have to stop this. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work. I hear a voice. Everyone left the live stream. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you everyone who's loyal and stayed throughout this. I went to like another part of my apartment closer to the Wi-Fi and everything went back to order and started working. So um, I'm going to go up and read some of your comments and then I'm going to go because we've been here for a while. So um, hello Lizzie Brazil here. Love you. Please pray for me that I get an interview and get a job right now that I don't get the virus and bring it home because my great grandma lives with me and always has health issues that makes me so sad. Okay, I screenshotted that. Can you give my friend Nick a shout out? His full name is Nick Gurr. Hi, Nick Gurr. It's so nice to meet you. Why has God stopped the stream? It's not God's active will. It's his passive, his permissive will. There's two wills of God. Things that he is intentionally doing is active will and permissive will is things that he's allowing to happen. Okay, I'm reading your comments. Do 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 buffering. Lizzie has left the chat. Buffering. What happened? Lizzie said, I I'm gonna head out. Oh my gosh, someone commented the emoji of like do 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 of it loading. Lizzie, you're amazing. Could you lower the quality of the video? No, I can't do it from my end. Wi-Fi got me like, oh my gosh, everyone's using that emoji. That's so funny. Wow, the zoom. It's not zoomed, that zoomed in. You're super zoomed in. Do you accept or venerate Orthodox saints as Catholic? Yes, there are many Eastern saints that are also Catholic saints. If God gave you the choice between becoming an angel or staying human, what would you decide? Staying human. It says that we will judge angels. I've got to go now, but God bless you. She's definitely already gone. I pretty much used to being home most of the time. I just miss going to Goodwill store. Signal is scuffed. Are you single? No, I have a relationship. I'm in a relationship. I painted my nails today. First time in a long time because of my job. I did red gel. That's so exciting. Okay. I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. And maybe she turned off the video for reasons. No, guys, the Wi-Fi. It's so sad. Everyone's on the Wi-Fi. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for getting the video to 100 thumbs up. Bye. Love you. Can we talk at some point? Yo, we should talk at some point. Bah, ha, who asked if you are single? I don't know. Someone who's trying to. <laughs> I love you, Elizabeth. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.